Oh my God, Celine Dion, you guys. I love her so fucking much. I want to die a lot, but I remember she's still alive and I'm like, ah, oh, she keeps it, keeps it alive for me. Uh, I've been depressed since I was seven, seven years old. Six was a great year for me. Um, I really miss six. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, um, so here's the deal. My parents are so upset they couldn't be here tonight. My dad's like, oh, to be a fly on the wall. I'm like, I would love to be a fly on the wall because they have a 24 hour lifespan. I'd be dead by tomorrow. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Um, I nanny a lot. I try to keep busy. I was at my nanny job recently. I'm really good with kids, you guys, I swear. They love me. Um, I was at my nanny job recently and the lady was like, hey, I'm just letting you know, she's doing this new thing where she's like crying herself to sleep like for a long time. And I'm like, oh dude, I've got this, don't worry. And she's like, no. I'm letting you know right now, sometimes she can cry for like up to an hour. And I'm like, fucking amateur. <laughs> you wanna see crying yourself to sleep, come over to my house. She'll get better at it, she'll get better at it. Um, I'm single, surprise. Um, <laughs> whatever, I'm on all those dating apps, they're fucking horrible, they make me wanna die every day. Um, <laughs> I was recently seeing this guy, I thought he was great. But then I could tell he was kind of doing the fade out on me. He wanted to see me less and less. And then here's the thing, guys. He actually had the chutzpah to be like, hey, how do you feel about me seeing you like once every two weeks? I'm like, listen, motherfucker, I don't need to be tapered off of your dick. I can quit cold turkey. It's all right, you guys. I've been disrespected by better people. Um, anyway, no, I, I said that to say this. I'm really looking for a guy to like, fuck me like it's his job, okay? I, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, I, I need him to show up on time. If he can't make it, I need him to find someone to cover his shift. He's gonna get performance reviews. And you know what? If he's done, I'm gonna need two weeks notice because you can't go too long without sex. The vagina's, it's like an earring hole. It can close back up, so. My parents are gonna love that joke. <laughs> Sorry, dad. Actually, you know, uh, guys just don't know how to talk to me. A lot of my friends are like, oh, oh God, you get those texts too in the middle of the night that say like, hey, you up? And I'm like, no, mine always say like, hey, are you still alive? <laughs> I get it, but I mean, it's fucking rude. Um, no, my, my dad is pretty worried about my, about my love life. Uh, we were in the car recently and he just kind of driving in silence and he just goes, hey, why don't you uh, look up an article on the internet about how to date nice men? <laughs> he was being earnest and I was just like, oh, thanks for the hot tip. Um, here, you know, poor guy. I mean, he probably went home and was like, Julie, that's my mom. He was probably like, Julie, Chloe and I really had a nice conversation today. We really, we really bonded. <laughs> sweetheart he is he's such a nice guy um i love snapchat you guys snapchat is so much fun it's like opening up a present right you never you never know what you're gonna get sometimes it's a dick pic yeah uh, uh sometimes you know it's footage from a concert pretty cool sometimes it's pictures from a party i wasn't invited to that my best friend threw it's always fun social media is fun um I also really love Facebook. There's something so awesome about being able to look up like somebody you went to preschool with and you're like, wow, they're married, they've got kids, this blossoming career, it's pretty wonderful. And then I was like, huh, I wonder if any of my old therapists or psychiatrists ever look me up on Facebook to see if I finally killed myself. Or maybe they get on Google and they're like, Chloe Jacobs, obituary. Huh, I guess she's still kicking. I am, I'm doing, no, you guys, I joke a lot about dying. I could actually never do it. I'm pretty terrified of death. Um, that's why I hate flying. But I'll tell you what I do love is I fucking love Southwest Airlines, you guys. Yeah, anybody else fly Southwest? Love it. Uh, here's the deal. I will set an alarm just so I can get boarding group A. I have to get boarding group A. I've never had an orgasm before, but I feel like it must feel like what, it, when you get boarding group A, yeah. Um, but here's, here's why because then I get to get on the plane and pick who I get to sit next to just in case the plane goes down, right? Because I don't want to die next to some freak. Uh, I, I like to sit next to somebody who looks like they might hold my hand and pray with me as, as the plane's coming down in flames. I just, I really need that faith. Um, but recently, the last time I flew, you guys, oh God, it was such a disaster. I get on the plane and 
I see this girl sitting in the emergency exit row and she's wearing this shirt that said, mermaid vibes. <laughs> I fucking loved that shirt. And the reason why is because it was like she was wearing a sign that said, hey, don't expect much from me. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Suddenly, I start freaking out, and I'm like, holy shit. I'm like pressing the thing, like, hello, flight attendant, we need... You gotta move her. She can't be in charge of the emergency exit row. And the, la the lady's like, I can't, I can't make her move. And I'm like, fuck, you know what? My life has been a pretty big joke, but I'll be damned if it ends because of some girl who's as dumb as a box of hair. Thank you so much. My name's Chloe. Chloe.